Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe, I'm back with another quick insight and today we're going to be looking at uh, Daz Studio's new uh, Victoria 9 figure, the amazing Victoria 9 which is uh, over to the, uh, the right hand side over here. I'm going to do a, like a, a quick comparison uh, lighting test. On the left is uh, Victoria 8.1 and I wanted to see the differences in lighting, you know. So if we switch over to the uh, lit wireframe, you can see the differences in the mesh. Actually, let's choose something else. Hidden line frame. So here on the left is Victoria 8.1, and on the right hand side is uh, Victoria 9. And you can see a big difference in terms of the, the mesh, right? So that's what they've done, is that you can see way more detail over here. In the different uh, edge flow for sure on the right hand side and even the chest area has been changed it looks different in terms of uh, the edge flow if we go all the way down now I may not take the clothes off because <laughs> one time I showed a Genesis model and I got a strike for <laughs> like a nudity so today I won't be doing that <clears throat> so excuse me but you can see even the bone structure is slightly different like if I zoom out real quick. So the way Genesis 9 is structured, she has like uh, these handles that uh, Genesis 8 doesn't have, right? So there's definitely something different going on. I don't know if they wanted to do this to be more realistic, but that's how it is. So that's the Genesis, really the Genesis model, the base. But I imagine other as developers continue to work, and create new content there'll be better the different shapes of the body but this is the caucasian version of uh, victoria so let's go back to the lighting parts of it switch to nvidia iray just to look at the differences in terms of uh, what do they look like in uh, different lighting conditions the face is definitely different you can see that and uh, overall i mean both characters look great so let me rotate around on this side and zoom in a little bit more. So as you can see, the <clears throat> again, sorry guys, <laughs> my throat <laughs> is itching. But I wanted to show you the differences in terms of uh, the features that they've done. Uh, and by the way, this I'm using a camera that's at uh, I think about 200 millimeter. Just kind of uh, squeezes the picture, but you can get a, a better idea of the differences in the in the head structure, and uh, you can see the eyes are slightly different. Uh, the nose is about no, it's not slightly different too. The lips are different for sure, even with with or without makeup. So we're gonna go through and uh, just do a fun test with the uh, different lighting conditions, and see how well both models stand up, and maybe we can do like a side by side over here and you guys let me know which one you feel you know looks better visually you know so and i also noticed that uh victoria 8.1 is slightly taller not slightly actually a lot taller than uh, victoria 9 so i don't know if uh, victoria 8.1 is like 5 9 and victoria 9 is maybe like 5 6 5 7 around there Five nine, maybe like a two inch difference or maybe three inch difference. So maybe they are trying to do like a, the average height of a, you know a female. I think that's what they are probably trying to think about because she's really tall. <laughs> At least in this comparison over here. All right, let's just go through real quick and see the different lighting conditions and see how they catch light. And uh, some of this is uh, I'm using uh, denoiser, so I wanted to just uh, show. Just a quick lighting difference and see how the characters look. But of course, if I let it uh, cook for a little bit longer, you'll see a little bit of a difference. But that one looks good. Let's try another one. Okay. Or maybe let me scale this up a little bit more. And let's try another one. So guys, maybe, <clears throat> by the way, try these uh, lighting. This is uh, like a pack for, uh, I think, HDRI. Right, so it's a, a really awesome pack to test your characters when you're wanting to see how they look. Let's try another one here. So again, is it is Genesis uh, Victoria 
8.1 on the left better than Victoria 9 on the right hand side you know so now if I have if I had like a hair that was compatible to both I would probably put the same exact like you know clothing and hair uh, just to see like how they differ but I just went to do like a quick comparison here okay so that's a nice one let's go to the next one So you can definitely see the difference in the upper lip with the slighting conditions, right? And I also want to go like real close to the skin and compare that. So this is Victoria 8.1 and you can see the skin. I think Victoria 8.1 may have a little bit of a more natural skin tone. Now let's go over to Victoria 9. Yeah, so this, I mean, they, she has uh, these freckles by by default, but in a way, I feel like the like the skin looks a little bit more plastic, like there's no blood underneath. That's just my thinking, right? Because when I look at uh, her, and then I compare Victoria 8.1. There's just something different and I think you can see it on the edges of the nose and the nostril and as you go from the, from the nostril all the way to the cheeks it's something different for sure in terms of uh, the shader. So let's bring it back to both of them being here and maybe let me do something else real quick. Let's go to smooth shaded real quick. And let's go to perspective view and let me bring Victoria 8.1 maybe a little bit closer so that we can see the heads side by side so that we have a better oh, like positioning for that all right let's go back to our camera and let me center it a little bit more and turn the camera like this zoom in yeah, I think we'll get like a better appearance here. All right, uh, let's go to NVIDIA Array. Let's see how this one looks. All right, and by the way, guys, I'm using, uh, again, if you're new to my channel, I'm using uh, uh, like a RTX 3090. That's why you're able to see the, you know, the cooking time being was really, really brief. It's a good thing. To, I mean, once if you're able to invest in a good graphics card, it, it changes your life in that studio. <laughs> so that's what I would recommend. But okay, let's try another one. Yeah, you can definitely see the nose. Like Genesis 8.1 nose is, it has like a little bridge in it, like an indent. This one doesn't have that. And this sliding one, this sliding condition helps point that out. But overall, I mean, <clears throat> both models look great. So I think for me, what <clears throat> stands out the most is probably once we get to see newer models, like especially with those that are for centric, or for Genesis Nine, I'm really curious to see the differences. You know, like even the hairstyles, and see how it looks in terms of. But these models look beautiful. Then I can't help but think of the meta humans. Uh, but again, for me, I feel like Genesis 8.1 still, the skin has a little bit more natural as compared to 8.1. Genesis, Genesis 9 to 8.1. Yeah, let's try another one. Yeah, it's, I think it's important to see them in different lighting conditions because then you can see the differences because it's the same lighting setup. Of course, you know she's in, in the way in terms of the lights but at least you can see both faces and then uh, let's try that one let's try this one let's try another one
I think this one really shows the, it highlights the differences like really well. So again, guys, as I'm going through, just give me a vote <laughs> up or down, which one do you think is better? Which one you, you still prefer to use, right? Is it Genesis 8.1 on the left, rather Victoria 8.1 on the left or Victoria 8.1 on the right? Let's try another one. And we won't go all the way through, but uh, we'll just check a couple more and see like the extreme lighting ones. Yeah, I still feel like Genesis 8.1 is something slightly more natural. Now, the Genesis 9 figure, I mean, the, uh, this is the default one for Victoria. Victoria 9. I, kept, I have to remember to keep saying Victoria 9, not Genesis. Victoria 9. I think has like a fuller face and less of a supermodel look. So I keep wondering what kind of reference that they use to create her. But let's try a little bit more like this one, maybe. I mean, all the way. So this is an amazing, amazing like collection of lighting conditions that I highly, highly recommend. So you can see what this character, the difference between these characters. Yep. <clears throat> so, so again for my rough throat. <laughs> Thank you for joining me, guys. Um, I can't wait to do more testing, and for when new characters come up that uh take advantage of uh Genesis, uh, <laughs> I keep saying Genesis, Victoria Nine, because Victoria Nine is now a universal model. It can have both male and female. You can try change it easily. I think which will make it much easier to create new characters out of that and creatures as well. So again, today it was just a quick test to show the differences between uh, Victoria 8.1 and Victoria 9. <laughs> Thank you for joining me, guys. If you're new to my channel, please spare me to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And go ahead and check out uh, Victoria 9 you know, on the Da Studio website. There are a number of things that they've added. You can see the differences in terms of masculine and uh, feminine over here. Uh, the differences in our like improved head shape. At least that's what they're saying. And I can think you can see, I don't know if it's improved for usage. And it, maybe it's going to be once we get new characters and we can see the blending between the two, uh, we can then we'll be able to definitely say that uh, improved head shape. <laughs> Eye distance and... 8K material maps, which is uh, again, when I look at this, it does make sense that uh, you know they they implemented the 8K materials. But uh, when I look at it, comparing the two characters, it seems like Victoria 8.1 looks pretty, still looks pretty good and looks more natural. But uh, let me know what you think, guys. Again, uh, thank you for joining me today. Please dare to dream big. Never give up on your dream. And may we continue to use these uh, technologies to tell our stories. Much love to each and every one of you. Uh, stay blessed and uh, bye for now.